LPBA and WABA. A three-time WBL All-Star, Molly was named the WBL Co-MVP with Annie Myers in 1980. She completed her professional career with the Columbus Minks of the WABA in 1984. She currently resides in La Prince, California with her husband and two children and owns Casper and Associates. Molly? <laughs> I don't know why I didn't keep my action shot. I know! <laughs> then sell as well. <laughs> well, you played for the Columbus Minks, so. About the very grassroots foundation of bringing uh, women's pro basketball to the United States. And um, we went through a lot of tough times, but at the same time, we were so thrilled to be playing professionally. And we did truly play for the love of the game, not for the money. And. Um, when the leagues folded, it was, it was really tough because I was just starting to hit my goals. I was starting to find out what it really felt like to be successful in professional sports. And I began to find out that's what I really wanted to do with my life was to play pro basketball. And I never really did get a chance to find out how good I could be. And um, But the main thing underlying even that was we realized the importance of what we were doing for the future. And a lot of the things I did, including some of the cheesecake pictures that you saw in the video, <laughs> um, the bottom, the underlying thing here was that, I, I didn't get away with some of that because I was the leading scorer in the league, okay? I was averaging 33 points a game. Pick me out. Um, it wasn't like I was sitting on the bench trying to look sexy, okay? Um, but it was really important to me to get the attention to the league. And they really looked at us as, um, in, in the late 70s, a lot of stereotype jocks uh, played basketball in. And we were really trying to overcome a lot of uh, stereotypes for women's athletes at the time. And, um, and that was the part that I wanted to get the attention of the public. I wanted to show people that women could be feminine and still play basketball. And if I, I felt like if I could just catch the attention of somebody and they came to see a game, we could win them over with our ability once they stepped in the, into that gym. And that, that's what's really important to me was to um, do everything I possibly could to make the league be successful, uh, not only just for us, but for the future players to come. Uh, down the road, and it's been really gratifying. I'm just thrilled beyond words to be here. Um, even to walk through the Hall of Fame is something that you dream about as a small child when you really get into the sport. Um, but the resurgence of the, the current pro leagues has cast the light on the early efforts that we had with the early pro leagues. And it's been just an incredible, gratifying experience for me to know that everything that we did and we sacrificed and played for, it now means something because it was, it was not for nothing. And um, it's just, it's so great to be here. And I'm glad for the opportunity that um, the girls are having now. And of course I would love to be playing out there right now. <laughs> um, it's not going to happen, but um, you know, that's what it was all about. And it's really exciting to see it happening. And, and that's what I was fighting for in the early days. So thanks for being here. And let's wish them the best and hope these guys stay around longer than my league did. <laughs>
of women as athletes. And that movement, really, I'd like to attribute it to Jane Fonda and her aerobic videos. <laughs> but um, it really it, it started a revolution uh, for women in athletics and sports in general all over the country. Hey,